What's up, you two? Tomorrow, too. No, I haven't been around in a while, man, because there's been a lot going on, because y'all have no idea how much stuff can go at one time. Everything seems to go wrong at once. At any rate, other things happen good, too, at one time. My neighbors, like I said, you keep spreading that word, they will come around. And uh, so we've been all getting at it, you know. They've been at me quite a bit here lately. What was that you was talking about? You know, here we go. So at any rate, that's what I've been trying to push, you know, to get with your neighbor and try to do your best to get with them. And I want to take a look at how this all this is working now. You know, well, as far as the donations and all went, we did real good with that. I found a camera does a thousand frames per second. And I went ahead and ordered it here in a few days. It was $255. There's still $100 left in that account. I sure would appreciate it if that would help us out. We'll get to see how this is working. But, it, we, you know, I know good and well what it is. It's, it's water, you know, it's turning back into water. That's what water burnt, you know. That's a, that's a high charge particle of matter. The same thing as a corona mass ejection. It's, it, they clearly say a corona mass ejection is primarily made of huge quantities of matter. And they're primarily made of, of, of protons and electrons, which is what an atom is made of. But, but they don't they don't give a specific on that specific element. They go to them to say that and this is where you can look anywhere else. I'm looking on this paper here. <coughs> the ejected material is a plasma consisting primarily of electrons and protons, but may contain small quantities of heavier elements such as helium, oxygen, and even iron. It says right there, I mean it, it primarily consists of electrons and protons, but may contain small quantities of heavier elements, such as helium. So there's only one other, you know, element lighter than helium, and that's hydrogen. So it's basically made of hydrogen, which tells you exactly what, you know, where all the water on our planet comes from, and all the moisture all over the whole universe. I mean, the solar system comes from. It comes from from the solar wind, you look up the solar wind, and it's exactly the same thing, only it happens constantly, over time, all the time. Solar wind constantly blows, and it, it primarily consists of the same thing as a coronal mass ejection. Only a coronal mass ejection is when a large amount of, of electrons flow out of the sun at one release, which is an amount of electricity. So I'll take a look at some of this stuff here that we've been looking at now and see what's going on. What, what we have is water with electric current passing through water. You know, this can be induced current or direct current. The way we're doing it, it, it doesn't matter. It's all operates on DC voltage. Even the sun and earth, it's all a DC current voltage, atmospheric electricity. You look it up, give you a link. At any rate, this flow of current is here all the time, and, 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 and generators operate by turning a, a magnet inside of a, a coil of wire. When you spin that magnet in our atmosphere, it's going to deflect those free electrons, and they're going to run down that wire and try to find ground. That's how it works. That, 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 Generators don't generate, they accumulate electricity from our atmosphere. That's what makes them so vulnerable to these changes, and, and this is why they're just like conduit. They're like, like fault lines or, or volcanic regions. They're the path of released resistance. Electricity's going to find that. At any rate, the electricity goes through water and turns hydrogen and oxygen into to gas again, and they still combine together in a gas form and it produces its own pressure and blow up these balloons. And what I do here is just take three balloons put together and uh, that creates a, a, a pretty good amount of pressure. You take this off here and, and you know you can either pop this balloon like we've been doing but we're going to do some more of them. I'll show you I got a couple of frames picked up on this couple of them. I know what that is now. 
We're going to see that in just a minute. But then you take a piece of pipe and you have to put put some steel wool inside of it. You know, roll it up and make sure it's peeled up all the way. Don't pack it real tight, but make sure it's full. But just find steel wool. Put a little valve. This is just a little uh, MIG welding tip and a compression fitting on the end of it. And then you take your glue. Just keep a valve on that. There's a plastic valve you get in there and all the parts. And put the balloons together, put three balloons together, slip them on there. And then we just light that and burn it on the end. If I put it on that glass, you see the see the moisture immediately turn back in. You know, it's turning back into water. We put it on this little wrench right here. You see it started boiling. You know, it'll start condensing out on the end of the wrench out there. Yet right in, you know, it's relatively dry. And you know, at the, at closer points, but yet further out, that moisture still condenses. And it'll turn out to water, you know, right in front of you. And that's what that's doing. That's just what the sun's doing. Primarily, with all the other elements involved, we still seem to have, you know, they show iron and all these other heavy elements coming out of the sun. Has coronal mass ejection, primarily hydrogen. Which is what we see in hydrogen and oxygen turning back into water. And, and the uh, effects that water have on, on you know, everything and, 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 the, and the, the thought that the human or the biological brain itself has the ability to manipulate that current, the flow of current, of universal current that flows through everything. And the water around you and in you is totally affected by your thought, primarily by positive and negative. And this is this is this is how you work, how you operate. This is how you know. This is your aura. This is how you know. This is how my dog can tell whether you're a good person or not when you knock on my door. This is how my dog also knows when it's going to rain before the storm comes. I mean, this, this electric current flows in and out of our atmosphere. I mean, our jet stream, it goes around the planet 300 miles an hour. There are four primary jet streams. It, it knows to tell. And these molecules of, of moisture have a will remain at rest unless a force acts upon them. And the fact that all these molecules of moisture are racing around the planet 300 miles an hour, they're, be, they're chasing pretty much an electric field. And he's being tracked by NASA. And you can look at the some of the uh, the old experiments done with, with anode, cathode, the way electricity and current flows, and you can see these patterns. You can look at how the, uh, the, the pressures involved in high and low pressure in, in meteorology are, are directly related to these. Then you can look exactly how these flows of current work. High pressure is, is a, a sinking of the atmosphere. Most the air molecules in the atmosphere are sinking, creating high pressure. Whereas at low pressure, they're rising in the atmosphere. The rising of air, well, that's air following electric current, electric field. That's why a hurricane resembles a sunspot, you know, and it also resembles a galactic center because it's a high dose of a magnetic current, electricity, electrons flowing through a point. That this is in everything. It's in everything. These black holes that they're, they're looking at, that they're just not paying attention. They're to be. This is the flow of the energy from the universe to just the same purpose. 
and the fact that we're here and we're able to manipulate the field around us that's just a profound thing that means you do make a difference and it's simply positive or negative you know if, you're, if your intentions and thoughts are pure then, then your perceptions will follow your, your intentions will be that very thing so will those around you they'll pick up on it that sure will but at any rate I appreciate all y'all speaking with me and I hope you know we figure all this thing out I'm going to post some links on uh, on all this uh, NASA's website where they got these magnetic tethers that tie Earth to the sun, the Earth's footprint tied directly to the sun. The fact that there are several of these currents flowing at one time, and you can look at the maps on Earth and see directly where this flow is. It's in the weather. And and, and you can look at this weather and see that, that, that and you can watch water evaporate out of a pan in your backyard. It doesn't evaporate just like that. It doesn't evaporate. Water doesn't just evaporate over land in that massive a quantity as we saw dumped in Texas just the other day. That water came from somewhere. And they just, and I mean, you can see it right in the weather. You can see it. And the fact that that same storm moved right over the Gulf of Mexico and it really didn't change the amount of moisture in it at all. It was, it was strong as it was. And then again, it blows up again over the Yucatan Peninsula and right over dry land. The whole thing explodes again. It's, these are points in our planet that are highly conductive. The, the whole Madrid line is, is highly conductive material, which is mined. You know, we mine. That's the biggest mining area on the planet. And they're about right there. You know, that's a big conductor of, of electric current right through that area. And there's no, there's no need, you know, there's no second guessing the fact that that's Tornado Alley right there. You know, tornadoes are direct a magnetic anomaly. The fact that two molecules of air in a, in a hurricane or a tornado know to rotate around the center point there has to be a there has to be a force doing that, or those two molecules will fly straight off. I don't, I don't care if that's a hurricane, I don't care if that's a tornado, or any other vortexual anomaly that we see. It is because of a flow of electrons or a magnetic field passing through a fault line or a line of conductivity in the Earth, which is a path of least resistance. Volcanoes, fault lines. All these are passed the least resistance into the core, which is the same way that you know this electricity operates around that nail, makes a magnet out of it. The heat comes from within. That's why you know the molten lava comes out of the hole, red hot. It's heated from the inside out. Sunlight doesn't provide us other things. We're, we're we're actually energized from within. And we each have a choice as to what we decide to make around us. We shouldn't waste that ability on fighting or, or anything that we don't need. Peace and love. Big heads up.